Hello again, my name is Brother Miguel, and we're back with another lesson. Uh, but this time, it's, it's a, a different lesson, because we had five lessons of what faith really means, and now we move on to believing in Christ. And hopefully, as we keep on going through studies and studies and studies and studies, we can see how we can really, really believe in Christ. So by me saying that, I want to say thank you for those who are here. I also want to say thank you for the viewers on YouTube who, who grew in to hear the word of God, the truth of God's word. Not for what I'm saying, but the truth of God's word. And I thank y'all for growing in. Uh, anyone have any questions before we uh, begin? No. Okay. Let's open up with a word of prayer. Most gracious Father, our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, once again we come to you, dear Lord, thank you for so many things that you do for us and so many blessings that you store upon us. Amen. We thank you for the gospel of grace. We thank you for all the love and the caring that you have for us, dear Lord. We thank you, dear Lord, for all the things that you do for us, dear Lord. We thank you for that. And we just pray, dear Lord, that the lesson that we learn, dear Lord, will, have, dear Lord, will help us every day with our, our everyday growth. And help us, dear Lord, to, to obey, not just go in one ear around the other, dear Lord, but help us to understand we have to obey, dear Lord, as a child obeying his father. We've got to obey. Help us, dear Lord, understand, dear Lord, if we don't obey, dear Lord, we're doing what Satan did. He didn't ever obey. He got cast out. So what's going to happen to us? We're going to be cast out. We're going to be cast out. We're not, we're not going to heaven either. Help us understand that, dear Lord. We thank you for everything once again. Father God, we thank you for being alive. We just pray, dear Lord, we keep on doing things that always are pleasing and separate in your sight. We pray for the people who are here, dear Lord. We pray, dear Lord, that they, they stay focused on the word and keep their eyes open and, and always put their trust in you no matter what. And, and for those, dear Lord, who are on YouTube, who watch that view in, dear Lord, we pray for them, dear Lord, that you keep on blessing them and have them keep growing in your word and stay tuned to your word, dear Lord, and have them keep on following you by your word. And Father God, we just thank you for everything, for all the things that you do for us each and every day. We thank you. Most kind of Heavenly Father, we just pray these prayers to you in your most divine holy name. Amen. 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 Okay. Once again, uh, I think it was last month. Uh, we had we had uh, we had a last final lesson in faith. So if we study the, if we stay with the word of God, we know how we can have faith. Anybody know how we can have faith? Just the word. Stay in the word. By the word of God, how we can have faith. So we move on to believing in Christ. Because you know it's a lot of speculation out here as, as to how we can believe in Christ. Because I was I thought my son could believe in Christ the way I want to believe in Christ, where my heart tells me I can believe in Christ, but not what the Word of God says. But let's listen to what the Word of God says. So turn with me to uh, Gospel of John 3.16. That is Gospel of John chapter 3, verse 16. That is Gospel of John chapter 3, verse 16. And we all have it? Yeah. And it reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that means we got to believe in Jesus Christ. And the Bible only speaks of uh, only one way how we can believe in Jesus Christ, you know. Right? And then, like I said, and, and we believe in Jesus Christ, we have everlasting life. Not just working with the more so I believe. Not just going to church on Sunday, so I believe. Not just going to Bible class, say so I believe. You know, right? you got to believe in Jesus Christ only by one way, and through God's word, let's, let's find out together. Can y'all turn with me to... Uh, John, this is Gospel of John, chapter 1, and, one, and verse 1 through 14. Gospel of John, that's chapter 1, 1 through 14. Uh, someone care to read that? Alright, y'all got it. Hey, Anyone have that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. 
all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believed on his name which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay. Yeah, man. That's, that's powerful right there. Okay. So the word became flesh. Do anybody know and dwelt among them? Who is that? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ, all right? Now, if you go back up to the Gospel, uh, Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 1, it tells us, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God. So what was in the beginning with God? The Word. The Word. So, when the Word became flesh, you know, right? Where the Word go, God go. Because the Word was God's. Where the Word go, God go. He was Son of God. So, when the Word became flesh, that's helping us to understand that Jesus Christ is the Word. That's trying to help us all to understand. John trying to help us all to understand the book of John that Jesus Christ is the Word. Anybody have questions with that? Now, let's go to uh, uh, stay in John, Gospel of John, chapter 17, 14 through 20. I'm sorry. Uh, Gospel of John, chapter 17, I'm sorry, 14 through 20. That's Gospel of John, chapter 17, 14 through 20. And I can read this one. We all have it? Yes. <clears throat> For a viewers at home, once again, that's Gospel of John, chapter 17, 14 through 20. And I would uh, recommend you read the whole, the whole chapter of the uh, 17th verse because it's so good, it's so good, right? Have you understand. But... We're going to start here at the United States at the same time. And uh, verse 14 says, it's 1714. Jesus Christ says this. Saying says, I have given them thy word, and the word have hated them, because they are not of this world, even as I am not of this world. And he was talking to the disciples who he gave the word, the word to. I pray not that thou should take them out of this world, but that thou shouldst keep them from evil. That they they are not of this world, even as I am not of this world. Sanctify, that means set apart in your heart. Sanctify, Jesus Christ said, verse 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. The word is the truth. What's the truth? The word. The word is the truth. Verse 18. And thou hast sent me into this world, even so I have also sent them into this world. But what? The word, the truth. Who was that? He talked about the disciples. He said he actually uh, he prayed. He prayed to our Father uh, to the, about the disciples that he uh, that Jesus Christ tried to. Uh, he gave them the word of God. He, uh, he sent them in this word, this world, to spread his word around, the truth of his word. Verse, uh, where am I at? Nineteen. Yes. And for this sake, I sanctify myself, but they also might be sanctified through the truth. What's the truth again? The word. Okay. Now why Jesus Christ says this? Neither I, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me 
through their word. Now, how can I believe on Jesus? Now, right there, but Jesus Christ says that. How can I believe on Jesus Christ? Read the word. That's it. And who I will hear the word from? You said, who do you get it from? The what? The Bible. The what? Jesus Christ, the Bible. The Bible. He gave it to who? He gave it to the disciples. So I was getting from that. That's why I have the, I, which was called, one time it was called the servant that moved, I think, in the book of Acts, that, we turned, that came apostles, you know, like, and that's why I hear the word from. The word of God from, right here from the apostles, which was disciples, you're right, you're correct, but they, they, but they turned it, uh, they turned it into apostles in the book of Acts, so I had to stay in the word to what? To believe on him, right? Mm -hmm. Christ, I can believe him any other way but by his what? Word. Word. Why do you hear his so many other ways to believe on Jesus Christ? Oh, I can pray the sinner prayer. <laughs> I like to believe on Christ. Or oh, I can sow a seed by giving money, which next lesson I'll show you what the seed is. You know, right? how you believe in Christ, what the seed is. You know, right? by giving money, that's believe on Christ. Or oh, I can pray tithes, which that's Old Testament law. I can pray tithes. I believe in Christ that way. Or I sing in the choir. I believe in Christ that way. In so many ways I have heard, I have. I'm not talking about no one, but I have heard how you can believe on Christ. I see uh, uh, me and my wife both have heard, you know, how you believe on Christ. So many different ways, you know. And you know what? I didn't know, so. I didn't know the Bible, so okay, believe Christ this way. Believe Christ this way. Believe in Christ this way. I did not know. I came to the word of God for myself. So as you read that, for, uh, verse 20, Jesus Christ said, he, 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 he swear with it for me again. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. He prayed for us. He prayed for us. We believe in by his word. Okay. Anybody have any questions with that? Anybody have any questions at all? Okay. Let's turn to Acts 4 4. Uh, Acts 4 4. I mean, I have heard so many different ways. Uh, but no, but right here, this is the only way, this is the only, this is the only way I should, be, I should be listening to right here. Right here, the word of God. You know what? Right? What did God say? That's what it means. You know what? Right? Now, what someone else tell me what the word of God says. Acts 4 4. Uh, we all have it. Once again, viewers, at Acts, Acts chapter 4 and verse 4. Anyone can read it for me, please? How be many of them which heard the word believe, and the number of the men was about 5,000. <laughs> you see that? You see that? Many of them heard the word, I believe. The word. They heard the word, believe. I heard the word of God, and I believe the word of God. I heard the word, and I believe the word. So, trust me, and the, Jew, and the Gentiles, the Jews, I'm sorry, the Jews and the Gentiles are one, so... If they heard the word believe, that means I got to hear the word believe too. And I'm about to show you that. I mean, I have to hear the word believe too. I can't believe any other way. But only by his word. And I'm going to show you this. Show you that. I'm, excuse me. I'm going to show you that. Only by his word. This is sound doctrine. Teaching strictly from the word of God. And not the word of man. And not my word. It's strictly from the word of God. And this is your soul like it's my soul. So that's, we're going to keep an arm of faith on by what? Staying in God's word and believing what? The what? The word. The word. If I, if, I, if I don't know the word, how can I believe the word? Right? That's just like saying this. Like, if I got to go study for a test, I mean, I got cram, I got to study for this test. I mean, I got to study this, study this test. I can pass it, right? Same here. You got to study. Because we got to want to pass, right? The Bible clearly tells us we're going to be judged in the last day by the Word of God. That means I, I better know the Word of God. We're going to be judged by it. Right? I, I, that's just, to me, that is plain common sense. 
Lord, I know we all have it. Brewers, and brewers out there and ones that can be held accountable said, we know that. Lord, we know that. But we got to make sure that if only we believe on Jesus Christ by his word, and the reason why a lot of people won't believe on Jesus Christ by his word and stay in the gospel, they don't want to do the work, the labor in the gospel, and for truth, they don't want to change their life. They like what they're doing. They like the things they're doing out here. They're simple. It's unrighteousness, and they like it. But they know they come to the Word of God, they got to change. The Word of God will change your whole life around, and they ain't ready to change. They ain't ready to change at all. So they'll keep over there while they scared of it. They push it to the side. So they go, they go here, they go here, they go here, they go here. And some, some, some churches out here would sugarcoat the Word of God. And there's some churches out here where they do it, but they sugarcoat the Word of God. They sugarcoat your soul straight to hell. Now, people don't want to believe the truth right here. They know why I get, like it says in Ephesians, they get pleasure in a rashness. They do not want to change. I know it's a simple thing what I'm doing. I know that, but if I know I come to God the way I'm supposed to come to God, I know I'm going to change. I, I, I don't think it's going to change, you know right? But you got to understand one thing. Come to God the way he tells you to and obey him. It is a good feeling. You thought you'll miss that simple life. You're glad you are that simple life. Trust me, I'm a prime example. Uh, anybody have a question with that before we keep on going? So, so what would you suggest to uh, people? Because I've heard a uh, few people uh, say that when they read the Bible, they don't understand it. So that's why they don't read it. I mean, I know they got to keep reading it to understand it. So what, what else would you suggest? I suggest a person, like as myself, I didn't understand it, but I stayed in it. Staying in it, I highlight, I highlight, it, I highlight, and I stayed in it, I stayed in it, I stayed, and I stayed, and I stayed stay read each and every day. I fellowship with God, His Word each and every day. I didn't understand it, but I kept on reading, highlight something, highlight, highlight, and no promise you, it comes right back to you. It'll start coming to you. It'll start coming to you. I see you hand up. It'll start coming to you. It'll start coming to you. It'll start coming to you. But you gotta stay in the word. That's why you gotta seek him diligently. Like it says over in Hebrew, it says over there in Matthew, seek the kingdom of God first. And all his righteousness, the anything else will be added on to you. How can I seek the kingdom of God first? And the word is right here. And the word, the word was God. Only by his word. That's how you seek him. By his word. I mean, you gotta stay in it. You know, right? you, gotta, I mean, you can't just say, well, Monday come, I, I'll be two. The Tuesday come, I'll be Wednesday. Wednesday come, I'll be Thursday. You know, like Thursday come, I'll be Friday. Friday come, I'll be Saturday. You know, like Sunday, I'll just go to church. Ain't gonna happen that way, you know, right? Because God knows your heart. He knows you really, really, really trying to seek Him and find Him and, and, and find out the truth for yourself and obey Him. Now, ain't gonna do no good if you just read the Bible and you're not obeying. They ain't gonna do no good. You gotta obey Him. That's what we have to do. It's like, just think about it. And, we, and just think about it and just think. Just really think. We have, you got, if anyone out there have kids, I know I have kids. I want my kids to obey me. Same thing. We got to obey our Father. Right here, right here. The same thing. Our true Father. We are Father of Earth. I'm talking about our true Father in heaven, who will punish us, throw us so strictly in hell, and we don't obey him. So I want you to obey me. My sons will obey me. And when they get older, they have kids. When their kids obey them, the same thing. So I can obey God right here by His word. If I don't obey Him, then we're walk through the exact same thing. They are afraid. I prayed this earlier. Exact same thing. Satan did. He didn't obey when he got cast out. So I and His angels. What thing will happen to me if I don't obey? That's just plain common sense. This is, once again, this is sound doctrine, teacher of the word of God. Sister, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, pig, piggyback on what my sister said. For me to get the understanding, I had to stay in that word. First, first I asked the Lord before I even started reading. I prayed, give me the understanding. Let me, Lord, please, just let me understand your word. And you know, that daily and day by day, he gave it to you. You begin to understand what things mean that you didn't know. You're right. And he opened right. up your eyes. You're right. You're so right. I, I, right. I just thank the Lord for that. You're I right. think prayer, before you read that Bible, ask him for the understanding, and he'll You're give right. it to you. You're right. You'll You're grow daily. Right. You'll grow daily. You're right. You're most definitely right. I'm mm -hmm. left it out of it, but you're most definitely right. And I, uh, 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 and, uh, 
Well, how can you give me understanding that I'm not in this market? You got to read that word. How can you give me understanding and, of something and, that I'm not in it? And brother, and that's why nobody <laughs> came to see you. You do, read for yourself. You know you yourself. It's hard for the receiver person who know mm -hmm. the word of God for themselves. Mm -hmm. It's hard to deceive a person. Mm -hmm. Now, the person know the word of God for himself. I've been there. I'm not speaking of myself. I know I was getting deceived. And sometimes I sit back and I reminisce now, since I've been I'm, since I've been in the word of God, I reminisce now and I believe I like, I say to myself, I in the word, I, I can't believe I should go to that church. I cannot believe I should go there. You got some bad ones. I'll be like, thank you, God, for pulling me out of hell. Right? He pulled me out of hell, right? I did not even know. I'm not saying all churches, but some churches yes, I have, yes. some churches I have I have been in. I ain't said all churches I've been, I said some churches. Mm -hmm. I know that where as I still find a God, knowing God by his word, I just thank God almighty. Thank you. Mm -hmm. He pulled me out of hell. Yeah, I'm following man mm -hmm. commandments and not your commandments. Mm -hmm. I'm following man. So I thank you very much, God, for that. Anyone have any more questions? But they heard the word. Remember? And they what? They believe the word. Okay, look at Acts 15. It's Acts chapter 15, 5 through 7. It's Acts chapter 15, 5 through 7. Acts chapter 15. For viewers, in Acts chapter 15, 5 through 7. Okay, we all have it? Yes. Well, uh, somebody care to read that one? But there rose up certain to the sect of Pharisees which believed, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the laws of Moses. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. And when there had being much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us that the Gentiles by mouth should hear the word of the gospel of the week. <laughs> right, yeah. Now you got the Jews. If you're Jewish, you're Jewish. We, we, uh, if you're not Jewish, you're a Gentile. We are Gentiles. And we probably do what? Hear the word of the gospel and do what? Believe it. Believe it. <laughs> That's how you believe in Jesus Christ. And see, and this is to think about it. Then think about it once again. The word of the gospel. What be, who became flesh? The word. The word. Jesus Christ. He's the word. So if I believe the word, I believe the word of the gospel. I believe the word. I believe who? Jesus Christ. He's the word. And the word was who? God. And I believe God. Mm -hmm. That is just, whew. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I just thank you how you delivered me. Where I was years ago, I thank you how you delivered me. I mean, the word of the gospel, I believe the word of the gospel. If I believe the word, I believe Jesus Christ. He's the word of the flesh. The word was God. That way I believe God. Anybody have any questions with that? I, I don't boast in myself. I boast to the Lord. I thank you so much for what you have done for me. For what you have done for me. I just, it feels so good to, to know that now you follow God. We just follow the darkness. It's a good Feeling. We should follow darkness all the time. We can't restrain yourself from doing nothing. You had a fruit of the Spirit in you. You had have that in you, right? And now you have all that in you because you fall in Christ. You still, you still, 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 still growing. You got a lot of growing to do. Still got a lot of growing to do, right? The day I die, I'll still be growing. Got a lot of growing to do, right? I ain't know everything about it. The day I die, but trust me, I'll keep on following God and I thank God for everything what He has done. It's an awesome, good feeling. But once again, before we move on, and we said, we are, if you're not a Jew, if you're not a Jew, then you're a Gentile. Gentile means any other race. That means you could be uh, Italian, Mexican, you could be uh, Roman, you could be anything. If you're not a Jewish person, right. that means you're a Gentile. Mm -hmm. And the Gentiles, by Peter's mouth, should hear the word of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And believe it. Yes. Now, if the word became flesh, who is that? Jesus. So, so if I believe the word of the gospel, I believe Jesus Christ. He's the word. 
and the word was God. Remember, G. Christ said back in Gospel of John, uh, I think it was John, uh, Gospel of John 14 24, G. Christ said, It's not my word, but the Father who sent me. It's not my word, but, my, but, the, but the Father who sent me. So if I believe the word, I believe who God. If I believe the word, I believe who? God. Oh, you, you hear sometimes people say, Oh, Man, you know, I believe some of the Bible, not all the Bible, right? because they don't want to come to the truth. They don't want to come to the truth. Stop what they're doing. Stop what they're doing. Now, I get passionate. Up. I get poor. I love doing this. I love doing this. I don't want to come to the truth. I believe something. I believe something. I don't know. I just don't know that Satan got your mind thinking like that. We about to see right now. We about to see right now. We about to see this right now. Anybody have any questions before we go further? Look at 2 Corinthians 4, 1 through 6. Uh -huh. 4, 1 through 6. The way y'all find it, I had to step over here for a second. I'm sorry, y'all forget a lot too, right? Get older. Who was the word? God's God. the word. That was Jesus Christ. Right? Jesus Christ. Yes. Jesus Christ is God. Okay. Yes, that's his son. Okay. Uh, Jesus prayed that we would believe what? Maybe I uh, pray the word. The word, okay. What did they believe the back in Acts? They heard the word, they believe what? The word. The word. Uh, what do uh, we supposed to believe the Gentile? The word. The word. The word. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, thank y'all for that. Sorry, that let's get the second Corinthians. I will read this one. Second Corinthians 4. 1 to 6. 4 to 6. 1 to 6. Or just uh, 1 to 6. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. They got, therefore, Say we have received mercy, we faint not. But what have we now the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, committed ourselves to every man conscious in the sight of God. But, this is very close to this. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Once again, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Verse 4, in whom the God of this world, who is that? Satan. She said right there, Satan. Yes. The God of this yeah. world is Satan. Mm -hmm. That's what we hear for. We ask questions. We hear ask questions. Man and man. Yeah, trust me. We hear always hear to ask questions, right? Whether wrong or right, trust me. Hear to ask questions. But look, in whom the God of this world, who have blinded the minds of them which believe not, believe not what? The word. The word. Who blinded their minds? Satan. Satan. At least the light of the glories of Christ. The glories of Christ. Uh, I'm sorry. At least the light of the glories of God's will of Christ, who the image of God should shine unto them. That's why they don't believe the gospel. Why? And that's the light. So think of, that's just a simple one a quick question real fast. And if I had the word of God, is the word called the word of the gospel back in Acts? Is the word called the, is the, uh, the gospel is called the word of the gospel? And if I have the, uh, uh, the gospel dwelling in me, like say Colossians 1, uh, 3, 16, and the word is dwelling in me, and right here, this is light of the glorious gospel, what shall I have in me? Word in you. I'll have the word in me, but... But Jesus. The oh, yes, but look, remember, look uh, read verse 6 again, I'm sorry, maybe I've said it too bad. Look at verse 6, it says, for God who commanded uh, the light, I'm sorry, verse... Oh, man, verse... Uh, uh, 5. No, I'm at verse 4, I'm sorry. And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine to them. 
Watch this. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for, uh, for Jesus' sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge, of the glory of God, and the face of Jesus Christ. Yeah. So, that's the seven question. Once again, verse 4. And who the God of this world has blinded the mind the of them which believe not, at least, the, at least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, the image of God, should shine to them. So if I had a gospel in it, why should I have what else in me? Well, you got the gospel and you share the Lord in you. The Lord. Right. The, you you all got the light because the, the devil is a darkness. We got the light of the glorious gospel of Christ. So if I had that, you're you right, sister. Yeah. You're right. You got, you, you got the word in you, you, you got, got the light in you, know, right? Yes, yes. And you got that knowledge here, you got the knowledge here, you know, right? That's it. Yeah, I see. See, but see, you don't have that gospel in your word in you, darkness. you got darkness in you, right? Yeah. And, the, and the God of this world, oh, I give you this. See, some people think, because they go to church, they think, I go to church on Sunday, sometimes, maybe on Wednesday, and I'm getting blessed with fancy cars and uh, fancy houses and money, all this like that. God really, God, God is really, 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 really uh, 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 blessing me. You know, like, they don't know. Like it says in 1 John chapter 4, and verse 4, you know, like, that uh, uh, where, you, uh, where you talk, the world can hear you too. And Satan mm -hmm. this world. You think God give you all, you be Satan giving you all these things to keep you from the truth. Satan would do certain, he's deceiving us. The secrets of sin, he can do certain things to keep you from the truth of God's word. So have you keep on thinking, all that I gotta do is go to church, and that's all I gotta do. But when it comes to the word of God, I ain't gotta do nothing. I'll keep on giving God, keep on blessing me. Bless me with a fancy job, and all this stuff. I have I, I mean I have talked to people, you know, I see it on television, you know, I like, whoa. But yet still though, that's what people believe. Where it's just, Go both ways. They don't even have to go to church. I, I know somebody, some people that said, yeah. God blessing me. He sees me. They don't do nothing. They just live in their life and things happen in their life. Like they get stuff in their life, but God bless me. They ain't never in church. They never read the Bible. I said, I said Have you read the Bible? His word? They, they think he's blessing them just blindly, yeah. looking after them. You know, and there's some in the church, like you said, they think that too. So it's, it's both on both sides of that coin. And people that don't even go, don't read his word, they think God blessing them in his world. And people that go to church, they that's not in that right. word and living that life, they think God bless right. them. It's, it's, it's like it's a two sided coin. Yeah, you're right. Uh -huh. Because if I'm not mistaken, I noticed in Second Peter, and he said, uh, God eyes all the righteousness. His ears over to his prayers, mm -hmm. right? God's eyes is on the righteousness. And his ears are open to their prayers. But his face is turned to those who do evil. Mm -hmm. Right in the Bible, right? So when you think you're getting blessed, it could be coming from <laughs> yeah. Satan, right? Yes, right. Because I mean, I mean back in the day, when I think I'm getting blessed, and I probably, once again, I once again, <laughs> I've been through this. I think God is blessing me, because I didn't know God. I think God is actually mm -hmm. blessing me, right? Mm -hmm. But then I stop God by his word. Thank you, God. You led me to your word. Mm -hmm. I see it wasn't God. It was Satan. It was Satan blessing me. You know? right? it, was, it wasn't God. It was Satan doing this. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. That's the honest truth. I have no reason to lie. I follow God now. I have no reason to lie. That's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. Trust me. But once again, Corinthians uh, 4, 1 through 6. And, uh, what's, who's, what's, uh, what is the light? The gospel, right? Mm -hmm. The gospel is the light. So if I had the gospel in me, I should have the light in me, right? Right. The wife said, let the word of Christ dwell in you, right? The word of Christ dwelling in me, so the light dwelling in me as well. Right? Okay. Now, now we're going to see now for brewers at home, brewers out there, I'm sorry, if those are here, turn with me to 1 Thessalonians 3, the so second chapter, Verse 13. That's first Thessalonians chapter 2. First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. And you see this for yourself. That first chapter. Oh, I'm second, sorry. Second. I'm sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a first chapter. The first, oh, first chapter. Okay. First Thank chapter. You. I'll read this one. First Thessalonians chapter 2, 
Now we see, now we see what we need, what, what we're supposed to believe, right? The word of God, right? We see this, right? We're supposed to believe the word of God. That's how I believe in Jesus Christ. So watch this. Watch this. Verse once again, that's First Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13. And it reads this. Read this way. For this cause also thank we God without ceasing, because when we, ye receive the word of God, which ye have heard of us. You receive it not of the word of man, but as it is true. The word of God, which effectively working also in you that believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, how about, so how can I believe in Jesus Christ? Only by the word of God, right here. Right. It tell you right here, all, what works in you that believe is the word of God. Mm -hmm. It tells you clearly right there the word of God. I'm read that once again. For this cause, I also thank we God without ceasing, because, because when you receive the word of God which you heard of us, you receive it not as the word of man, but as in the truth, the word of God which effectually working also in you that believe. If I don't have the word of God, I mean, I don't know what? <laughs> thank you. If I don't have the word of God, I don't believe. Say it right. I'm not saying this. If it, so if I don't have the word of God, if I Jesus Christ that those who love me keeps my word, right? Yeah? Oh, I keep the merit by keep what? Knowing his word. That's how you keep it. So the word of God and works to those that believe. At Hebrews chapter 4, at verse 12. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 said, tells us clearly that the word of God is quick and powerful than any two ass sword. Mm -hmm. That's Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The word of God is quick and powerful than any two ass sword. So, if the word of God works to those that believe, and I got the word of God in me, I have his power in me. That will transform you from that darkness to light. But if I don't have the word of God in me, I'm still walking in darkness. And I don't believe. People tell me, you can believe this way, believe this way, believe this way, believe this way, believe this way. All the come check them. Uh-uh, no, no, whoa. All this, what did the Bible, go by what the Bible tells you. Not what man tells you. Go by what the Bible tells you. The only way I can believe in Jesus Christ is by his word. That's the only way. By that. And this, that's why Colossians 3, 16, says, let the word of Christ dwell in you. Let it dwell in you. Can I why? It was dwelling in me. And the, word, and the word of God works with those that believe, and the word of Christ is dwelling in me, then I what? That's it. I believe. I believe. It's dwelling, and the word of Christ is dwelling in me, then I believe. And the word of God works with those that believe. But if it's not dwelling in me, then I don't what? Believe. Don't let nobody deceive you. This is sound doctrine once again, teaching strictly for the uh, Bible, not man made version of the truth. Oh, bad man commandment is strictly from the Bible. I've been deceived many, uh, many years, you know, right? Many years deceived. And I thank God He didn't call me home in my sinful life. He gave me the opportunity to come here by the truth. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't put nobody down. I'm not talking about nobody. That's not me. What I'm trying to say is this. You better protect your soul. People plan for their retirement. They plan for their retirement, but they never plan for their eternal soul. They never plan for that. They plan for this, they plan for that, but they turn so they don't care nothing about it. Well, I go to church, that's what the pastor said, I'm going to heaven. That's what they think. I'm not saying all, I'm not saying all people not doing it. All things you got to do, trust me. I get so, uh, sometimes I get on YouTube and I watch some stuff that's going on out here in this world about these pastors. It's ridiculous. Mans have a man to sleep with bears and wife. Gay pastors, all this, it's, it's so ridiculous out here. Put all your trust in God, not some of it. Put all your trust in God by knowing his word. Then you'll know the truth for yourself. Did Christ tell the Jews back in uh, Gospel of John? He told back Gospel of John, Luke chapter 8, 34 to 36. No, 32 to 34. He told them, if you continue in my word, so shall you be my disciples, that you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. That means I got to continue his word. That means same thing, continue in the faith. Colossians 1 to 23. Continue in the faith. Continue in his word. You're going to know the truth for yourself. It should make you free from sin. You should know it for yourself. But if you don't know it for yourself, I promise you, man can tell you anything. And have you out here 
thinking that you doing the work of the Lord, which is work of the Lord is working and laboring the gospel, but he has you out here thinking you doing it, doing it, doing it, and going to heaven. Don't put your soul in man's hand. Put your soul in God's hand. Put your soul in God's hand. Know the truth for yourself. And know it for yourself. And the last, and the last one, that Jesus Christ will say this. Jesus Christ says this. I don't say this. Jesus Christ says this. The last one. And we're gonna have another last one. I mean, before I mean, before July, uh, uh, through the grace of God, before July, at the end of July, end of June, another that's about believers. We're gonna keep on, we're gonna keep on believing. We're gonna keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on with those out there who want to hear the truth. Who want to follow God by the new King James? I'm sorry, by the I'm sorry, excuse me, the old King James version, Bible, not the new, the old King James version. Excuse me. Look at Matthew. Before we play, anybody have any questions with that? Anybody have any questions? Because this word is so evil and so barbaric, and so hatred, and so lying, no consideration out here. People care about their, uh, 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 their notoriety, they care about publicity, they care about that. I mean, even John, I mean, even John, I mean, I call, uh, uh, I have internet, I don't have cable, I have internet. I'm like, why my bill so high for it? They put some on my internet bill, they put it on my bill. They put it on my bill, right? Like, you know, some of the some type of representatives, you know, like, do stuff like that. Like, where's my bill up? I mean, I, I mean, uh, whole depot is like saying, well, I mean, good uh, place. I mean, some people out here do certain things out here, you know, right? A good, I mean, it's a good, I'm hoping it's a good place. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm bad about this. But some people do certain things out here they shouldn't be doing. They should not be doing at all. For money. And why the Bible says the love of the money is the root of all evil. Not money, but the love of it is the root of all evil. Because people do anything for money. Amen. I have said, like, man, what about... I'm like, whoa, but I, mean, I just can't be people that do certain things out here. I mean, I just can't, I just can't believe it. I mean, maybe because I don't, I don't, I, I, back my day, when I, used to, uh, when I used to go out and hang out, like that, I knew, I knew the, uh, the, the street, uh, 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 we call it Lego, logo, Lego, logo. I knew the logo back then, right? I got to see on the street, right? Oh, Lego, Lego, Lego. Okay, I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Lego the way it had with it. It had with now. Now I get that. Now I go out here and you know, I just try to, you know, I try to, you know, be where I am, follow God by His word, try to be, and try to be nice and man to do the right thing. Then people are trying to slip you know what, baby. You can't trust nobody. You look at somebody, you don't know they lied to you or not. That's terrible. I got to figure you out. You lied to me or not? That's terrible. That is so terrible. Y'all know you still been lying to me or telling me the truth. I got to figure you out. That's terrible. That's a, this is the way Satan has people in this world going. And see, the rest of bad, old people, older people, and got younger people. Satan got people that's following this world and not following God. They don't understand that they souls is on the line. Amen. Yeah. They don't understand that. Yeah. They don't understand that. They souls on the line. Satan got you deceived mm -hmm. with technology. He got you deceived with technology, mm -hmm. cell phones, you know what I mean? drugs, you know, like whatever. He have you deceived because you're not following this right here. And what he's doing to people out here, I can see it so clearly. Mm -hmm. Not putting nobody down because I've been there too. I've been there too. I put nobody down. God knows that that's not me at all. I've been there too. I drunk each and every day, beer each and most every day. I've been there too. Can't be deceived too. No, I, I ain't no, I ain't no uh, uh, drunken nigga making the kingdom of heaven. I was a drunkard. I ain't no, I can bring make it to the kingdom of heaven. I ain't know that. I, just, I, I had a good heart. No, I had a good heart. I'm going to heaven. I ain't know if it said with the Bible tells me no drunk will make it to the kingdom of heaven. No drunk there. <laughs> Let's go to Matthew. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't say that. You know, I, I didn't know that though. Liars, all of them. I mean, it's a lot of them. I mean, the I mean, Bible tells you. Sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, it got, they watched worse and got worse and worse. I'm like, man. I can't leave people all like this. That made me want to say, well, stay in the house. I don't want to deal with them. Like, whoa. I mean, I can see, I can, are you lying to me or not, man? Are you telling me the truth? Are you, I mean, just be real. Be honest. This is your soul. You can't trust me. Right. Pick up such a guy. You can't trust nobody. You can't. The word out here. You know, you know what I say all the time? I always say, can't trust nobody but God. That's it. That that's, the only, that's the only person. That's the only way you better trust, right? They can look you straight in the face. 
and be yeah. lying all the time. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, yeah. And they can they can do things to you. No, I didn't do that. That yeah. was such and such. Yeah. But see, I put all my faith, like you said, brother, oh, in his yeah. hands. Yeah. The only way I can do that because like the word was God. That's the word was God. That's the only way I can probably trust word. him. Right here. He right here. Trust. All, my trust all my trust in him. Trust. All my trust. Everything. And if I don't put my trust in him, mm -hmm. then I'll put my trust in who? This world. Who's in this world? The devil. That's it. I put my devil. trust in sight. And they come in all sizes. Uh, they yeah. come in all shapes. They all come form. through your family. Yeah. They, yes, all forms. They come through your family, your friends. That's it. Everybody. So if you, ain't got, if you ain't got that word in you, they can bring you down. But if you got God's word, you can rise above them. There you go, sister. Ooh, I like that. I like Jesus. that. I like that right there. Yes. I like that right there. Thank you, Jesus. I like that right there. You mm -hmm. right about that. Say and now take them they Satan in church. Yep. Satan yeah. everywhere. And some of the biggest Satan is in the church. Yeah. I know that for a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but if you got God's word, hey, you gonna knock them down. Yeah. You can knock them down. A lot of them want to hear you. Uh, you can testify to you. Tell this. And you know what I tell them? Whatever I got important to me between me and God, I tell him. He's the only one I trust not to go blah, 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 telling all your business. <laughs> tell God. Yeah. You know, and you know, and I'm not saying this, but James tells us this. James says this, you know, like that like some churches, I'm not saying all no, churches. Just, not all of them, but some of them. Some of our churches out here not teaching the word of God. See so you know what I'm saying? And if people out here, the pastors or pre uh, whoever uh, or the pulpit teach the word of God is not teaching it. Mm -hmm. Right in James, you know, like, right in James, not teaching. He, he said this is devilish, and evil and devilish, not from above, in from this in from this world. It's devilish. You ain't teaching the word of God, mm -hmm. right? You teach the word of God. People in church act the way they do, right? Because you ain't teaching the word of God. There's some people in church really want to find God. Right. And they're like, yeah, but know what? You teach something totally different, right? But you need to do it for yourself. And why? You better know it for yourself. Then when you know it for yourself, you know what? Man, you know what? You ain't preaching the word of God, right? And I try to bring you to the truth. You don't want to hear it. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. I find somewhere, somebody, I go somewhere, somebody is preaching the truth, right? But how would I, how would I know the truth if I don't know the word of God? That's Man, I can tell you anything then. That's right. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, man, is pick up the paper or get on the internet, whatever, and look on YouTube and see all, what all the pressures out here doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I all mean, about that, all about that money. All about that money. I mean, how they doing people in the, the churches, oh, female, how they gay passions. I mean, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, this, I, I, this, this work pastor, he came on, this, this guy, he came off of work, and he started practicing the bed with his wife. I'm like, I'm like, I cannot believe that. He I came can't. off of work. I can't. He came off of work and, and passed that to his wife. But then I just said, devils come in all shapes. They come in pastors too. <laughs> yeah, because the man, man teaches, because the man got a Bible in hand, that don't mean he's holy. So I, that don't mean he's holy. Mm. And why I said, don't trust me, put all your trust in God. He goes to the scriptures right here. He goes to the scriptures right here, right? Put all your trust in God. Don't trust me, put all your scriptures in God. Put all your trust in God about right here. That's it. Anybody who say about that, I just I know some stuff, you know, just you know, I had to you know, I say some stuff because I seize it. And I'm like, whoa, man. Well, Matthew, I'm sorry. For you words out there for y'all. Matthew chapter 24, 3 to 4. 3 to 4. Matthew 24, 3 to 4. And Jesus Christ gonna say this. This is Jesus Christ saying this. 3, three, three, to, uh, three, uh, three to 5. Oh, I'm so sorry. 3 to 5. That's Matthew chapter 24, 3 to 5. That's Matthew chapter. Of uh, three, chapter, chapter 24, 3 through 5. So, through us all. Uh, uh, anyone can read that? I'll read it. Sure. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall, and shall deceive many. So will. The I am Amen. the Christ. You cover his name. Amen. And said, I am the Christ. That's and it. shall deceive many. We said deceive many. That means deceive them straight to him. <laughs> straight to him. All right? Straight to hell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He said, deceive me, and deceive us straight to hell. Many are going to come in my name. And why I said, don't trust me, my sisters, or my brothers. 
Trust the word of God. The scriptures are right here. They're right here. Right here. You can't see them. Maybe we talk. We heard me talking about turn here, turn here, turn here, turn here. Go there, go there, go there. This is your eternal soul. And, and right here. Except this, if Jenny Christ says this, this is God says this, then that shall deceive me straight to hell. People think going to be a picnic down there. <laughs> but the Bible tells me something different. Something different. A lot of weeping and gnashing of teeth. People are going to be a picnic down there. This is for eternity, your soul in eternity in hell. People are going to be all oh, a picnic down there. No, I ain't nothing going to do some cooking. I got some hot dogs and some hamburgers now. There's going to be some hamburgers. Yeah, okay. Some souls on my soul be uh, burning forever. Mm -hmm. That's something that scares me. If they don't fright you, that scares me dearly. That scares me. That's a bright feeling to know that I can spend my turn in hell. You better get it right. You still live. You better get it right while you got a chance. Yes, thank so you, Jesus. Say, I said it's darkness. It's darkness. Yeah. Piss darkness for eternity. Piss darkness for eternity. Got a chance to get it right. You better get it right by this. Not by what a man's tell you, you right? Know, I'm not saying all people, you right? Know, but make sure you follow in this. Make sure you follow it. If you ain't following this, you know what? He follows what? This world. And the only way you know that he's following that is you reading it. That's it. That's it, sister. You got to know it yourself. Yeah. You gotta, if you don't know it yourself, hey, you're going to follow this man, you know what? Straight to hell. Straight to hell. And that'd be a trip, you know, come judgment day. And you sit up there, you see your pastor, <laughs> he going to hell, you know what? He going, he, he going to hell, and you, you, you about to be judged next. <laughs> He going, I'm going to. Well, look, we have a hell church down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be uh, scary. Oh, that would be scary. Man, you see, him, I mean, your leader of a church going to hell. Mm -hmm. We talk about eyes be wide open then. Trust me. Ooh, man. Okay. Ed closes. What I want to say is this. Uh, Jesus said, verse 4. And, and Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Yes. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. How? Mm -hmm. How? They, he, they'll come in his name. They'll come in his name. Mm -hmm. His name. What's his name? Go to, all you got to do, go to Revelation, Revelation. <laughs> chapter 19, 12 through 13. Revelation chapter uh, uh, 19, 12 through 13. That's Revelation chapter 12 through 13. And his name is the word of God. That's how they're going to see many. His name is the word of God. Revelation chapter 19, 12 and 13. Thank y'all for everything, uh, for coming, and uh, thank for the viewers you know, out there who listen to the word of God. I want to say thank y'all. And if anybody have any questions before we uh, go? Mm -hmm. Read that Revelation 19, 12, 13. Oh, you sure can. Sure right. can. Okay, sure can. Revelation 19. Yeah, 13. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. That Revelation 19. Yeah, 19, 12, 13. Right? Uh huh. Verse. Jesus said, He'll come in His name, uh, 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 sent out of Christ, and shall receive many. Look at this verse right here. Verse 12. Okay, what happened? Yes. Mm -hmm. It says, His eye was as a flame of fire. And on his head was many crowns, and he and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. He himself, and his and he was clothed with a vesture. I'm saying that right? Yes. Dipped in blood, mm -hmm. and his name is called the Word of God. He Christ said what again? It'll come in my name, mm -hmm. the Word of God. The I'm the Christ to deceive many. Mm -hmm. Anyone have any questions? Don't let this lesson go in one ear and rouse the other. Let it get to your heart. Let it condemn your heart. Let it condemn. I had to be condemned. I had to be condemned. No, I had to no, I had, swallow that truth. That, swallow that pill now while you're still living. Swallow that pill now while you're still living. We got we got we got a chance. And once you die, it's all over with. Mm -hmm. He would tell us. At the point for man uh, wants to die, that after that, it's a judgment. He would tell us that at the point for man to die once, and then the judgment. Mm -hmm. We've been doing a lot of study. We know that a, when a person dies, they go to hell to the truck. We've been doing a lot of study on that. You remember? You remember that? Yeah. People, people go to hell when they die. So they, after that, then the judgment. 
Thank y'all very much for coming. Uh, my brothers and sisters, I thank uh, uh, you out there who listen to the Word of God. I pray that you stay strong no matter what, each and every day. Stay in the Word. Keep fighting. Keep fighting no matter what. Keep saying, I pray stay in prayer. Pray to God. Talk to God. Whatever it takes, but stay in that Word and fellowship with Him each and every day in that Word. Like I said, Corinthians. Stay in that Word and Thessalonians. And my by and uh, 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 for John, stay in that word and stay and stay and stay. Give yourself a fight, chat. Don't, don't never give up your soul. Uh, and thank y'all all for coming. I love all my brothers and sisters. I love you out there. But I know you will not love you out there. And like I say in the Bible, uh, Ephesians, speaking of truth and love. Speaking of truth and love, I love you. Any questions before we close? Okay, uh, we like to call uh, code prayer. Uh, yeah. Well, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing my father to speak thank you, Lord. Thank you for Thank you for my parents. Thank you for my brothers and sisters. Thank you for my nieces and nephews. Thank you, thank you for my grandma. Thank you for my aunties and uncles. Thank you for the clothes on my back. Thank you for the food that allows you on the table. And I pray that. I pray for the homeless. Yes, Lord. I pray for the sick. Yes. And I pray for my father's friend, uh, family who just passed yes. recently. Yes. And I pray uh, you help help them through this time of need. Yes. Yes. And I pray that everyone uh, has a nice life that makes it to heaven and follows the word. Yes, Lord. No matter what. Yes, Lord. And they pray. Amen. 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 Thank you once again. Thank you for the viewers out there. We love you. Take care, and God bless you in the next lesson. Stay strong.